Welcome to the first video in the series, Learn How to Make a Website with Steph. To learn more about this video series, please check out the intro video. In this video, you will learn how to get set up to begin coding HTML and CSS. We will cover how to navigate to GitHub and download the starter project that will be the foundation for your work in this course, how to download and set up VS Code, which is the free software you will use to write your code, and how to get the project starter running. A few things to be aware of as you watch this course that may be different from your experience on your computer. I will be using Chrome browser on an Apple MacBook laptop. This series will work for those on Windows as well. However, you will need to use either Chrome or Firefox for a comparable experience when we talk about reviewing code in the browser. The first thing you'll need to do is visit github.com. The link to this project starter is located in the video description. The page you're looking at is called a repository, and it will give you all the files necessary to begin working on this course. So please select the green clone or download button and choose download zip. Once you have downloaded the zip, return to this page and scroll down to find the VS Code link. This is the IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, that you will need to begin coding with this course. The final thing we'll need to download is Node. Now at this time, you don't need to know anything about Node, uh, just that it's something we'll need to continue with our project. Please take a moment to install Node from the zip that you downloaded, as well as complete the install of VS Code. Once you've installed VS Code, you may open it and find the project starter that you downloaded. Select the parent directory and choose Open. You'll see that the project files are displayed in the left pane. You can now close the Welcome tab. To continue, we will need to open what is called the terminal. Now, as with many projects, there is a README file associated with this one. If you visit the README, scroll down to the section that tells you commands that are used to run this project. These commands will use Node that we installed earlier. The first one we need to run is npm install. This command only needs run once, and it will install what are referred to as dependencies that will allow you to build a modern website. Once this install completes, the next command we will use, as defined in the readme file, is npm start. This will launch a few processes that will lead to your first website being viewable in the browser. You are now ready to continue this course. Congratulations, you have created your first web page. Stay tuned for the next video to learn about what HTML is and how to begin building with HTML. Subscribe now to be notified when new course videos are added. And if you're able to, please support the project on Patreon. The link is in the video description. Thanks, see you soon.